Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander and this is Dish About the Dish, where the foods we eat tell the stories of our lives. And today it is Farmer's Market Day and we are going to talk with Wayne from Wayne Southern Barbecue, who brought his home state of Georgia up here to Washington. So let's check it out. I take it out, I, 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 I stuff all the, all the fat off the, off the top. So, and I have people say, your, your rib is so mean. I said, I said, cause, uh, you know, I, I take my time with it. I tell them, I said, uh, I watch, uh, I'm 59 years old, I watch SpongeBob. I said, uh, I love what SpongeBob, how you make his crab patty. He, he, he put love in it, that's why it's so good. <laughs> that's, that's the same thing I do with you know, my food. I, you know, uh, my grandma always said, you know, if you got a job sweeping the floor, make sure you do, you do it right. Right. And uh, same thing with cooking, yes. you know, and all. I, I don't, I don't, I grew up on pork. Um, high blood pressure in our family, so I had to leave it alone. So I don't, and I don't eat it. I don't eat pork at all. <laughs> I raised around, you know, on the farm, and my grandparents you know, had their own farm in Georgia. So uh, I just, I, I don't know. I just, I don't, when it comes down to barbecue, and I'm, I don't know where it comes from, you know. I just, it's just, you know, we got some things, it's, it's, it's still in you. And uh, I just, you know, it's something you love to do, it's, it just come easy. And, uh, you know, and I just, just, this came easy. You know, I used, when I moved here, people, I used to go and grill for people, and they used to grill about how good it is. And I used to tell them, I said, you don't need no napkins. I said, well, when you're done, you're going to be licking your fingers. And actually, first started this, uh, we, we had, we had four farmers market, you know, and, and plus our other business. No. And it was kind of hard, you know, to, it was kind of hard to, you know, do full, full farmer's market and keep the same quality of the meat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes people start off, you know, in business and start, they start getting big and then and then quality start diminishing, you know, and all. And with us, we want to keep things like it was. We don't want to trick people, you know. So now we got your, uh, your business, now we can, we can cut back on the meat. Right. We don't do that, you know. Everything, how we did everything from the beginning, when this end, it will still be the same way. So, how many, which farmer's markets do you do then? We do this one, uh, Auburn, and we do uh, Duval. Duval. That's such a... And you cater, too. Yes, yeah. and I saw that you catered. Yeah, yeah. And you have, now, Auburn and Duval are such kind of, they're same, but different, because they're in such different parts of the state. Do you notice the difference of what people want? Ah, uh, they, they yeah, they want some good barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter where. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. they always say there's no good barbecue in Washington. You know what I mean, I don't know, but, you know, I'm from the South. And then, you know, oh, yeah. for me to go to the South and, 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 and do a barbecue business, it's too much competition, you know. And I uh, thought everybody can barbecue. Here, I didn't know, realize that, you know what I mean? You know, cause like I said, I only eat pork, so I didn't realize it was just like this. So, uh, but now I know, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, people, people love it, you know. Uh -huh. we, we do, actually, we do everything. We, we do, we do uh, ribs, we do uh, uh, beef ribs. Uh -huh. I'm looking at your sign. The uh, chicken. Yeah, we do chicken. You know, we do. We do it. See, for the country, we don't have we don't have pork. We do the chop. The chop okay. Pork, you know, and uh, same thing. You know, but it's just chop. And then we don't do the bun. We do we do the white bread. Yeah, and, uh, yeah you know, with that bun, you know, you got a little more bread than than you need, and then it's not that not as big. Not they're not gonna be that big bun. You know, and, uh, and then when we fix our fix our uh, chop chicken or uh, pork. The meat is running over the side, you know. From the country, we we know to feed, you know, eat well and feed well. Uh -huh. So I mean, everybody they get their money worth. Right. Yeah. And, uh, so how long have you been doing then the farmers markets? And uh, this year this is our first. This year. is your first year. Wow! You picked this year like post like mid pandemic yeah, year to do yeah, it. Yeah, we got in and uh, and how we got in it, my brother he 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 uh, went around to every farmers market. We called about getting in. And what got us in, you know, we do barbecue. And, you know, and a lot of people became barbecue. You know, we got yes. people at, at the kitchen. I'm not going to say, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I said, we we do different. You know what I mean? You got the, the South, South is, I don't know, we known, uh, you know, for some good food. Right. Yeah. Only way you can keep the, the, the meat is moisture. You got you to keep it. You know, you keep the moisture in, but if not, you're going you're gonna to dry it out. Right. You, know, you got to constantly keep flipping it, you know, and everything. And I, I just feel that's that's uh, that's something that everybody should know, you know. Right. But uh, we do, yeah, we do, we do, we do a lot of other stuff, you know. We, we, I do, like I said, for events, we can we can do whatever they want for events, you know. Uh, we we can do seafood, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever, you know. We have a lot of people ask for uh, for collard greens. Oh. You 
know, uh, so you know, what I mean, we want to, we want, we, we do color green too, but we we never bought none out here. But the, the location we're gonna be at, we're gonna start doing a lot of different other stuff. You know, oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, so, so what's one thing that you wish like do you think seattle will develop its own brand of barbecuing or will it always be heavily southern influenced i i don't think i don't think i don't think seattle i mean seattle washington i don't think they're gonna i'm not saying you know it might be some here to barbecue you know right. I mean, i'm quite sure they are but i don't think they they, they put their time in as much as not when they come down to uh you know they smoke it now they there's some good smokers here in washington oh. Right, the smokers, right. Yeah, they can you know, they can smoke, you know, different stuff. I mean, I, I never, uh, I never smoked anything before, you know, you know, and obviously you go on YouTube, they tell you everything. The first, uh, uh brisket I did, you know, and, they, and all that, we did a, a catering job, and the lady said, this is the best brisket I ever had in my life, you know what I mean? The first brisket I did, you know, but like I said, some things, it's how it, you know, it come with you, you know what I mean? You go on with, you know. Right. You know, I think, thank God, you know. You got the touch. Got the magic touch. Oh, that's a, uh, we call it, uh, we call it Georgia Gold because my brother found out that uh, Georgia is one that, that makes a lot of gold. So we named the, the barbecue sauce Georgia Georgia Gold. Oh. So it's, it's, a, it's a homemade sauce, you know, I, I make it myself. So, and uh, and that's what, that we call it secret sauce. That's what makes it, everybody come around here and buy it. You see what, we got it up there in the front. People come in, one guy just came here, he bought three bottles. Ah. You know, and you know, and and we, you know, like I said, I made, I make it, and uh, I told him, I said, next time you come, I said, get a call us. I said, tell you get three bottles, cause he said it don't last them long. I said, we'll, I said, I sell you a gallon. You know, so he gonna, <laughs> he gonna go by, but I'm gonna make sure, you know, I mean, I will put it something nice. <laughs> it tastes awesome and amazing because it's the perfect barbecue sauce, where it has a spicy flavor, but you still has like a little bit of sweetness at the end and it just tastes wonderful. <laughs> Thank you again to Wayne and all the good people at Wayne Southern Barbecue. You know what's funny though is all the pork ribs were good. I think my favorite was the chicken and the cornbread was so tasty. I, I need them to just sell a packet of that cornbread because it's so good. So if you're in the Auburn area or in Duval, again, check them out. Also see them online so you can get some of that delicious barbecue sauce. And remember, the best way you can support your local vendors is just to shop with them. So uh, yeah, thank you again to them and to you all for joining me today. Hit like and subscribe so you know when we have more videos coming out because I would like to see you again in the future. So uh, until next time, y'all.